and uh, being a part of it. So it's going to be big. And, um, you know, I look forward to working with uh, him and, and Lee Davis, Terrence J. You know what I'm saying? Just some, throwing some names out there who, you know, right. they say, hey, let's go, Pooch. You know what I'm saying? My man, uh, you know, Consequence, Rapper Consequence, you know what I'm okay. saying? It's just one of these things where it's just like I'm just gathering up all these people who are fans of me that I'm fans of them and say, well, let's let's collaborate. Let's get something going. Let's get That's something fine. done. The we is better than me, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> and looking at it now, I mean, you're going to play Ray, in Ray Donovan. You're going to play a boxer. But you were a boxer yourself in Massachusetts back in 1994, Golden Glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fought for Talk real. about that. I fought, yeah. <laughs> I thought them things for real, man. <laughs> I thought them things for real. I ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't no slouch. Man, I ain't no, ain't no, man, no, like, boxing in the YMCA for a month and then calling yourself a boxer. Man, I fought out of Petronelli, Petronelli Stable all my life. And uh, right now I'm training um, at the uh, Zoe Center in Anaheim with Rashawn Underdue, uh, who's been training me, who actually I trained for Ray Donovan in addition to working with my man Dave, who worked was a trainer on Ray Donovan. But as far as, like, keeping up the – keeping the hands – keeping my hands nice, you know, I was working <laughs> with uh, Rashawn Underdue in the Zoe Center. Okay. Okay. You definitely got the hands. So it's it's legitimate. It's real. The, the hands are there for you. <laughs> and, and let's look at it now. I mean, big fight tonight. Cody yes, Mayweather. Yes, sir. How do you see this one playing out? I don't see Col- uh, Mayweather losing this fight. But how do you see it playing out? You box. You've uh, been in there. Well, here's the deal. Here's the deal, man. You know, you know. Shout out, shout. First of all, I want to, you know, give any any boxer any props when they step in that ring because that place ain't no joke. And um, you know anything, anything can happen in the ring, dude. Anything. Yeah. Um, but when you have skills and you have knowledge, then you know how to box. And a lot of people think boxing is just going in there and slugging away. It's like no, it's a strategy. It's a skill. So like when you go in there, when you go in there, you just gotta stick to your game plan. You gotta stick to your game plan. Excuse me. And if it all goes right, it ends up in whoever's favorite supposed to be. But I mean, you 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 slip up one time, you can get caught. Now, if Mayweather plays his cards right, Mayweather plays his cards right, which he usually does, because uh, nobody likes to lose. First first and foremost, let's put that out there: nobody likes to lose. But sometimes when you get hit, let me tell you something, Paul. You get hit, man. Sometimes you get hit, you can't do anything about it. Like it, your whole body will shut down. Right. Like. It just your your motor functions will just will just be all like delayed. You see what I'm saying? So Definitely. you have to stick to your game plan. And the thing about boxing, and and, and this one I'm explaining to a lot of people why why boxing is kind of fell off a little bit. That's why you have to everyone tunes into Mayweather fights because he him and the Klitschko's are the only ones really really doing it. So it's kind of like, damn, you know, you got Mayweather. Everyone, that's why everyone's on on Mayweather's shoulders and his back. Like, come on, we want to see you fight. Yeah, um, um, uh, well, uh, what's your boy's name? Um, Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Everyone's on it. That, 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 that's going to be a, that's going to be a super major, major, major Omega fight. If okay. It happens. It, it's going to happen. It has to happen. It has to happen. You want to know why it has to happen? Because of the revenue it's going to generate and mm-hmm. what it's going to do for boxing. Because, because in all honesty, and, and they both know that they kind of have the, the upper hand because there's no other boxers who can put who's going to put on a major show like those two. So it's it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If that's oh. what, that fight, the just like when people said Vander Holyfield and Mike Tyson was going to happen, then it was never going to happen. But then it happened. You see what I'm saying? It's going right. to happen. Okay. You just but don't want it to happen when they're past their prime. But it, it's gonna. It, 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 you, it's, it's not. It's not a choice. That's not our choice. That's you true. see what I'm saying? That's not our choice. They can, you know, anything can happen, dog. Like, even tonight, they can be ready to fight. Mayweather can be, all right, we're going to go fight. And all of a sudden, he trips and falls and bangs his hand on the chair, and now his hand's swollen. Well, that's the fight. He's not fighting. Anything can happen. You can call a fight. You see what I'm saying? So it's one of these things where I think Mayweather has the upper hand and knows how he wants his legacy to be. So he'll go and box his man and box his man and and just know just know that you know a lot of people want Mayweather to lose 
uh, just because, you know, they may feel he's cocky or whatever. But the boy can fight. You see what I'm saying? You got to give it. You got to give him. You got to give him his props. The boy can fight. You see what I'm saying? And and he 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 knows how to fight. You see what I'm saying? But Cotto ain't no punk either. Cotto ain't no punk either. But as far as the skill set and and the knowledge and and what have you, you have to give the upper hand to Mayweather. That's just the way. That's just the way it is. But like I said, just like they say in football, on any given Sunday, anyone could lose. It'd be a, a missed field goal. You know, say it's like, oh, well, the Patriots are a better team than than the Giants, but the 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 Giants won. They won because the Patriots missed the field goal. It doesn't matter how they won. The Giants won. The score was twenty eight twenty seven. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the Patriots did. The Giants pulled it out at the end of the day. At the at the, at the end of the game, when the fourth quarter. We hit zero, and it's 28-27. Even though when you looked at the highlights on ESPN, it looked like the Patriots were killing them, it doesn't matter. That's it doesn't matter. If all of a sudden Mayweather's in that ring, and, and it's like, oh, it's not even a real fight. Oh, you can win a fight on a jab. You can win a fight on a one-two. It doesn't have to be a slugfest, and that's why a lot of people are like, boxing sucks now because it's not fun because people aren't banging. There's no bangers like the Hagler's right. and the Hearns and the Durans and the Sugar Ray Leonard's. And, and, and the, the Mike Tyson's. And all the Mike Tyson and the Evander yeah. Holyfields, and even some of the and, and the dudes in between, because that's what the dudes were fighting for. They were just fighting to fight. Because I love to fight. I'm a fighter. Bernard right. Hopkins, D Hop, he's a he's a he's a fighter. Half these cats want brands now. They want to be movies and rappers and all that. So therefore, it's like they got to end this up hole. You know what I mean? David Hoy was they, a bad boy. He was they, one they, who had to give him props. I have to give De La Hoya props because he did it without carrying himself up, and also he turned it into a business, but he could definitely. also fight too. You see he's what I'm saying? He's eating very well. Eating very well. He eat, <laughs> yo, he eat real good. He eat real good. And he did it with class. That's that's what my dad used to tell me all the time. He said, whatever you do, you do it with class. And mm-hmm. I like the way De La Hoya did his thing. He did his thing with class. Uh, he lost his last few fights or what have you, but he did it with class, and he's someone who he can he, – he's – Still very well spoken, and Definitely. still got his hand involved in a lot of things out here in L.A. and in Vegas. And you know he's eating good. His kids are eating good, and his kids' kids are going to be eating good. And that's so great, um, I, I don't great. see Mayweather losing tonight, um, but I think I don't think it's going to be a, ba- a, a bang a bang out fight. It's going to be a boxing match of a one two, couple of combos, couple of combos where they just wear wear each other down, and eventually he wins the the, uh, the title. I mean the uh, decision. And Pooch, you talked about the rapping side of you. Talk about your style. Uh, what are we going to see in, on a Pooch Hall album? What kind of things are we going to see? What kind of songs? We're what kind of music? See, well, all my music, my music is going to be. It's going to be edgy enough that we can play it in the club, and people are going to rock to it. But it's also going to be not too edgy where you know some moms can't make up her own little dance to it, okay. and and not have fun and not have fun. It's going to be something that everyone's going to be able to relate to and and like, um, because that's what I'm all about, man. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be up there with Will, and I kind of mold myself in in his image of just being like the people's champ. Right. And you know, um, I'm not comparing my rap style to his. He has his own style. I have my own. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, I want to be the people's champ where. It's like whatever you add me to, it's gonna become that much better. I'm gonna be, I want to be the Michael Jordan to whatever, whatever a person's situation is, whether it's your movie, whether it's your TV show, whether it's your your song, whether it's, uh, you know, me co-hosting, me you me playing basketball there. with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to be, to, to I want to be a Michael Jordan. I want to be the Michael Jordan to to whatever to have to whoever and whatever situation is out there. Now, now, do you freestyle at all? I do freestyle. Uh, why don't you kick a little freestyle? Maybe we do a little cypher here. We can do a little cypher? <laughs> we'll do a little cypher here. <laughs> hold up. Let me turn it to you. Let me hold up. We'll do an acapella. No, no music, just a cypher. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. Yeah. All right. It started this morning when I got on my interview with Paul. He said, yo, I'm on the phone with Pooch Hall. I said, yo, let's do this interview. We're going to have a ball. Okay, I'm not talking about when I was small. I'm talking about where I'm at now. I'm big. I'm, I'm talking to you all. I'm having so much fun, and I want to thank the fans because I'm the man that made it 
back again from somewhere that wasn't supposed to be. That's the G-A-M-E. I'm the Pooch D-O-double-G. Here I go. I play Derwin Davis. I'm no rookie no more, see? So here we go with my flow. We're talking about a fight tonight. Hell, who's going to win? Is it going to be Cotto? Mm, not so quite. Don't move so quick because I'm the one who can stick and move. But I'm going to say I got a shout out to do Mayweather. Giving it to you. Here we go. With the flow. Freestyle okay, the top yeah, of the dome. Yeah, okay, one, two, one, two. I'm we got money, man. Money, man. Money, man. Money, man. Money, man. You know, I don't want to dis- 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 disrespect nobody. You know, it's going to be a good fight. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to I don't want to call it a run up on me. Be like, yo, I heard you was dissing me on the radio. And then we got to have a situation. Nah, nah, yeah. Totally, <laughs> I'm playing. I'm totally playing. Big dude. Big dude. So, yeah, that was a nice little freestyle. You you brought it there. I mean, you got it done there. Nice lyrics there. So, when's the album coming out? Right now, like I said, we in the works right now. There's a lot of stuff that's going on with me right now. Um, it, 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 there's no stone there's no stone unturned, man. Like, I want to do it all because, you know, just like just like um, I was saying about De La Hoy, I want my kids, kids to eat, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I know what I came from and where I'm at now to where it's like where I want to be. So I want to make sure that, I want to make sure that, you know, my people are taken care of and that when I leave my legacy that I know that I did it to where I'm like, man, I can breathe. You know what I mean? You take care of dad now or, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. But also, too, it's not work for me, man. It's all fun. You know, I think each one of us was blessed with a gift, and I think that with that gift, you got to just find that gift and take advantage of it and make it work for you. So it's all about the legacy. It's all about the legacy. It's all about the legacy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pooch, where can yeah. fans connect with you? Where can we find out all the information about Ray Donovan and some of the things you got going on there? Uh, you can go to BT. You can go to BT.com. You can check me out on Twitter. I am underscore Pooch Hall. Um okay. Ray Donovan, of course, is on Showtime, and you know, right now uh, I'm working on the website, um, but I, it's not up yet. Uh, Bradley Frank at Rogers and Cohen is my publicist, so yeah, man, it's just one of these things where um, you know, soon I have more information out there for y'all to Definitely. to get up on. But like, you know, fans, rally up, man. Let's make sure that I'm on season six of the game. Definitely. Tune in to tune in, continue to tune into the game, and I thank you. Tune in to uh, Ray Donovan when it hits, and uh, I'll keep y'all posted. But like I said, follow me on I am underscore Pooch Hall on Twitter. Definitely, and Pooch Hall, you can catch, check Pooch Hall each and every Tuesday on BET, ten o'clock Eastern on the game, nine o'clock Central. Check him out. Great, great show, funny show, a lot of great things going on with Pooch Hall. Pooch, it was a pleasure talking to you, man. Wish you nothing but the best of luck. Let's do this again. All day, Paul. I appreciate you, boy. I get at you when my, I start to have some more uh, some more fire for you. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Thanks, Playboy.